Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. Go on, Shan. Go on, Shan. Go on, Shan. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Fucking hell. I she was tough, Is she? it inappropriate if I said you absolutely battered her? <laughs> Is that inappropriate? No disrespect to her because she's a fighter she and was game. But she was game. Do you know what? She was awkward because she just kept coming in my head. And every time she she smothered her work and she smothered mine, then she was leaning on me, so it kind of made me look bad. And in the end, I thought, you kind of have to ditch your nice skill set and just get her out of there. Mm. So that's what I did. In women's boxing, Hi. stoppage, knockouts are rare. We know they are. It's like, you know, we kind of see the kind of the way the fights unfold and the two minute rounds sometimes don't help that situation. But yeah, talk to me about the first knockdown. He was like, Okay. Um, I remember thinking she's not going to get up on that and then I do this thing whenever I put someone down like, I've always done it I make the sign and I walk back to my corner so I land the sign turn around I was like oh shit she's getting up and then she did so, are you waiting to come in here? we might be here for like an hour you know I'm joking do you want to go in? Oh, do you want to go in? go on crack on um, yeah and then I know with the second one I felt, I felt it on the glove, I knew she, there was no way that she would have come back from that. But you know, you, you, as a fighter, when you land the shot and you feel it, you know, and I felt the jaw go and I thought, no, she's not coming back from that. Obviously, I'm assuming it's no different for you, you don't plan in there to go and kind of take opponents out, but if it comes, it comes. And tonight for you, like I said to you, you had to kind of be a little bit patient tonight. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you had that first knockdown, you, should, you must have thought, right, this is my moment. Yeah, now. but I didn't go chasing it. I didn't go chasing it like I did. What knockdown? What, was it round four? Was the first knockdown? And I didn't go chasing her to get her out. Then I waited patiently again. Round five came, and I got her out in round five. But Charlie B, I hate she was in my corner, and then I trust him so much, and they've always got the, the perfect game plan. And Charlie's got such a calm, level head in him, and he just said to me, "Switch her, then go." Because when I was twitching, that's when she was coming forward. So I twitched her. And then my shots are coming off nice. So Charlie, you see it. I listened well to his instructions, so I have so much faith in him, and it, and it comes and it worked. You've had a really, really good first year as a professional, and it has kind of icing on the cake, if you like, tonight in your fifth professional fight to Christmas. get the stoppage win. 5 and 0 now. 5 and 0. Stop calling you 4 and 0, 3 and 0, and all the rest of it. 5 and 0 now. And I think I'll always be 3 and 0 to you, though, wouldn't I? Cause you 3 did, and 0. You did get a like, tattoo dedicated when, to because, me. Because, 3 no, yeah. <laughs> when you were 2 and 0, I didn't like you. It was only when you were 3 and 0 that I thought, yeah, she's actually <laughs> she's all right. Not bad, actually. She's actually all right. Um, but yeah, you've had a kind of productive year and. A busy year. A busy year and talking about what we spoke about the other day, kind of that difficult period in your life. You can kind of move away from that now, is that? 100%. Yeah. Two weeks before the fight, we were she was in a fight, and then I had a little bit of a breakdown, and um, I had a chat with Adam and Charlie, and then we, I kind of, we were all good, and then Charlie went back into the gym, and then Adam said something else to me, I just, well, I'm going to admit, I'm not going to deny this, I broke down in tears, I mean, I was in pieces, and I, Adam hugged me, and I sobbed like a baby, and he just held me whilst I cried and cried and cried, and he said some things to me that I needed to hear, and that was a colitis switch, and um, my mindset since that moment, So yeah, give me five things you're going to do now you're out of camp and your fight's finished. Five things. Spend time with my family and friends. Go Winter Wonderland. Eat some chocolate. Cheeky little Malibu. Cheeky little Malibu. Cheeky little corn star martini. Cheeky and little fucker. Thank you. Cheeky fucker. <laughs> I'll go on in. Go on then. But I'll tell you something I am doing and people think I'm mad. Go on, what are you doing? Tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow I've just fought tonight. Tomorrow I'm getting my first ever tattoo. Wow, shock horror. I never knew that. I never knew that. <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, because your tattoo is Paul Boxall. Yeah, shout out Paul Boxall. Yeah. He's doing my tattoo tomorrow and I'm getting it right here on my uh, my ribs. And he's even said that's the most painful place. But I'm 
Uh, Go on, mate. You're right. You're right. You're right. No problem. But I'm going to do it. How big is this tattoo going to be? Do you know what? I don't know. I think about that big. Okay. And just right across here. Okay. I'm not saying what it is. There'll be a grand reveal. Now, he, how amazing is Paul's work? Paul is brilliant. Paul's done all my work. Do you know what? I said, since I was 16 years old, I want to tattoo. And I always said, even must have thought, oh, she was saying it again to the... And when I saw his work, I was like, nah, now I have to have this tattoo. And then I wanted to get it done. I was booked in with him for November 23rd, and then I had this fight come up. And I thought, because he's so busy, isn't he? I thought, I'm never going to get it. And he went, I'll fit you the day after you fight. I was like, what? So, 10 o'clock tomorrow, I'll be down in the chair, having my first ever tattoo. Probably crying like a baby. I know. Well, if I'm around, as it's in my town, mm -hmm. uh, I will uh, bring you some food. Well, come and do an interview whilst I'm screaming on the side. Let's do that. We could have done this interview tomorrow, to be honest with you. But oh. to be fair, I need to get some time in with Paul because he's neglected me. For me? For Yeah, probably. <laughs> for the last four weeks. No, six weeks, actually. Well, what do you want to get done next? I need to finish off that arm because everything else is done. That, that arm, the lower arm needs to be finished. So he's amazing at doing eyes. And the yes. eyes that you've got tattooed on you are incredible. And I, was, I did have an eye put into my tattoo. But now, because I want to stick with the, the almost spiritual religious side, I've taken the eye away. And I've always said I'm never going to have one tattoo, but I kind of think I might get two now because I do love the way he does eyes. I might get an eye somewhere else. Yeah. But at the moment, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm just getting this. I'm, I'm quite nervous. Yeah, I would be Probably more nervous about that than I was tonight. Well, that's done tonight, so tomorrow's a different kind of pain, so... Right, well, listen, I'm going to let you crack on and go and see your family. Have you got anything else? Oh, you... a nice little message from old Bazza, Barry Hearn. Oh, God, I like Barry. Got to love Bazza. What do you say, what do you say? He just sent me a message saying, impressive. Isn't he a babe? He's a babe. <laughs> Um, all right, well, listen, I will let you crack on. Congratulations, fantastic performance tonight. Good to see you ending the year on such a high and positive note. Just want to say, yet again, big shout out to my sponsors Touring Group, Allsford Timber, Dixon Flooring, FMS Recovery, and Time for Diamonds. You watch, when you finish that tattoo, you have Paul Boxall tattoos on you in one of your shorts and all after tomorrow, I think. It's addictive. You never, no, 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 I don't. Listen, at each of their own, I'm one of the people that I only like tattoos of women that you can see, say if they're like in a bikini or... I don't, like, I don't like it when you can see a tattoo on a woman on a wedding day. Okay, well, are you planning on getting married if anytime soon? If brave enough to actually commit to me, maybe one day I might get married. Stranger things have happened. Stranger things have happened. Um, Alright, Shan, there you go, there's your name. Come on. I'll take it home. Can you hold it? You should take that home. Should I just walk around? Do you want to give it away as a prize? Yeah. What Will you sign it? it with a little message to someone? We'll run it tomorrow. Okay. I'll take it home with me. Okay. Do that as a Someone will see me walking one bit and go, what the fuck are you holding this <laughs> thing for? See, but it's free for the them walk around camera yeah. and free them all when it's a shaman Yeah, like this. <laughs> Get a little hole there where it's a necklace. There you go. Um, yeah, we'll do that as a giveaway. I'll sign it. Okay. Shannon, thank you very much for your time this week. Um, and yeah, I'll let you crack on. And uh, yeah, we'll speak soon. Hope everyone has a fantastic, safe Christmas. You're going to give us a Christmas verse before you go? Pardon? Christmas verse before you go. We're trying to get everyone to Christmas do it. Christmas verse? Yeah, like of a song. Like, it's for the I kids. Can't sing. It's for the kids. What kids? The kids. Like, it's for the kids, isn't it? Like, just one verse of any song or carol. You scumbag, you maggot, you cheap, lousy faggot. <laughs> That's from the Pogues. That's from the Pogues. Very okay. merry that is. Oh, very, I yeah. I can't sing. No? I wish you a merry Christmas and a happy new year. But you've got to sing it. I, I can't sing. Go on. I'll sing it with you. I see you tried to get Adam to sing the other day. Nearly that wasn't. No, that was never going to happen. I know, but <laughs> I, I got sucked into that one. Um, <clears throat> okay, you're not going to give us one verse, no? Um, you sing for me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> there you go. That's all you're getting. Shannon, thank you very much. Speak to you soon. Thank you.